In other news tonight, the supply chain bottleneck is not only affecting Kettleland retailers, but repair shops as well. Businesses that fix winter necessities, such as snowblowers, are running weeks behind with their orders. Terry Groton finds out how they're trying to catch up with the snowblower backlog. A blizzard of snowblowers in need of repair has swept through D&D small engine repair and sales in Lenox. Repairs, we're up to four weeks out on, on just the repairs of snowblowers, you know. And it's, a, it's a crazy time. Mechanics like Hunter Nordman are working overtime to try and get caught up. I generally can do about five to six a day, but I'm running all over the shop all day. Just getting stuff ready for the other guys and pulling parts for them. Because new snowblowers are so hard to come by, many people are holding onto their old ones for a much longer period of time. Take this relic that's in for repairs. It dates back more than 30 years. We're fixing stuff that normally you probably wouldn't fix, you know. I mean, it's just the dollars and cents don't, doesn't make sense, but we're doing them, you know, and, and uh, that's, that's all they got. But parts needed for repairs are often in short supply. We've been ordering uh, snowblower parts in September and we're still starting to get them in. The first snow of the season often gets people thinking about getting their snowblowers serviced, but by then, mechanics say you're already running behind in getting them ready for winter. Oh, well, it's good to know you got a full day of work ahead all the time. You'll keep busy all day. In Lenox, South Dakota, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. And most of D&D's repair work involves flushing out bad gasoline from the snowblower fuel system. On the upside, mechanics say that snowblowers are generally easier to fix than lawnmowers because they have fewer electronics to deal with.